Thank you for joining me today. Before we get started, I want to take a minute to tell you about a new app called Get Upside that we at the Rideshare Guy have been using to save up to 25 cents per gallon on gas. Pretty awesome. The app is completely free to use. All you have to do is upload your receipt after you buy gas and then cash gets added to your account. The cash adds up over time and you can deposit your funds straight to your PayPal account whenever you want. Some drivers are using GetUpside to save $50 per week just buying gas from their favorite gas stations. So now listen closely because this deal gets even better. I'm going to give you a short code that'll get you an additional $0.15 cents per gallon sign-up bonus. So you just download the GetUpside app from the App Store, open the app, and enter the promo code. It's WQ8JR. Now, another way you can get your $0.15 cent per gallon sign-up bonus is to visit the rideshareguy.com forward slash GetUpside app. That's G-E-T and then Upside, U-P-S-I-D-E, and then app, A-P-P. Check it out. All right, let's start the show. Welcome to the Rideshare Dojo. If you're an Uber or Lyft driver or anyone in the gig economy, this is the place for you. With tips and techniques, interviews with passengers and industry leaders, entertainment, inspiration, motivation. Here, with over 23,000 rides, is your host, Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. Hey, everybody. Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, Instacart drivers, Postmates, Ease, Zoom drivers, DoorDash, Via, Amazon Prime, Amazon Prime Now, Uber Eats, Grubhub, all you drivers and passengers and all of us who are part of this big, beautiful gig economy, welcome. It is so great to have you here for today's exciting episode. My name is Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. Hey, everybody. It is Mr. J. And it is the Christmas season. And in today's episode, I'm going to go over like three little tips for driving in December during the holidays. Because it's kind of a different animal. It's not like your normal driving. There's just a few subtle things that you got to take into account. And uh, that's what I'm going to cover in this uh December holiday edition of the Rideshare Dojo. I want to thank you for joining me. It is so great to have this podcast and to uh, present this content to rideshare drivers. You guys are my heroes. You're awesome. You're out there. I'm out there. We're all driving, doing our thing, moving people from A to B, making people safe, and uh, you know, providing a really good service. And at the same time, hopefully. We're all working on our plan B, right? That thing that keeps us excited, that thing that we're going to be doing soon, right? And uh, we're using Uber and Lyft as a tool, right? It's not an end. It's a tool, a tool that gives us some money and some flexibility to do the other things we want to do. But I digress. Let me just let me just share with you what I think are three, three things I want to emphasize about driving in the holidays that I think will make you safer and and enjoy, enjoy the experience more. So first thing I'm going to say is, and I'll just speak from my own perspective, I need to drive slower during the holidays. During the holidays, there are more what I will call amateur drivers on the road, especially on the weekends, and especially around a holiday, right? Um, there's just more people out there who don't know how to drive. Um, so... You got to be real careful. So where you might normally drive at, I don't know, 70 miles an hour on the freeway, you might want to tone it down a little bit because you don't know when someone's just going to turn into that lane that you're driving in, right? Because they're not used to driving. Uh, There's just more people out there without experience. Also, the weather is a bit inclement in the month of December for most of us. And... That can really mess, mess you up as well, right? The rain, it's easier to slide. It's much easier to slide. 
and uh, you hit the brakes and you might slide right into the car in front of you. The last two accidents I had um, were uh, either I hit the brakes and slid into a car in front of me or someone behind me hit their brakes and slid into the back of me. So I'm very sensitive to the rain. So I drive as slow as, as I can so that I'm uh, able to anticipate problems. So that's my first recommendation. Slow it down. There's no rush. There is never a rush. I recently had um, Noah Lang, the CEO of Stride Health, on my podcast. And I said, what's your best ride and what's your worst ride? And he said, well, my worst ride, I can't say one in particular, but I can tell you what I don't like. I don't like when the driver drives reckless and fast. And that happens a lot. And that's what most passengers will tell me. They don't like to be driven fast. They don't like sudden starts and sudden stops. So drive slower than you normally do during the holidays to account for the bad weather and that there are just more amateur drivers out on the road. All right. Number two is expect, anticipate that there's going to be more people getting into your car that are a little bit inebriated, right? They're a little sloshed, a little drunk. There's like a lot of parties that are going on right now, right? Starting this at the beginning of the month and going to go all the way through the end of the month. So don't be surprised when somebody gets in and you can smell alcohol in their breath. That's coming. And you got to just kind of withstand it, right? It's a bit of an inconvenience, I find, when someone's drinking because they're not usually like able to connect with with the driver. They're more interested in connecting with their friends who they're in the car with who are drinking also. And I'm just kind of like totally their, their like servant driving them from point A to point B, which isn't always a great feeling, right? But that's what happens a lot of times when, you, when you're driving people around who have been drinking. So there's more office parties. Um, so my, my strategy has always been to drive during the day and avoid the whole night, night drinking, bars coming out, drinking scene. But during the holidays, you're going to have more people getting into your car. We just recently in San Francisco had an event called SantaCon. And if you drive anywhere around uh, Polk Street, um, downtown area, uh, there are all these people walking around who are dressed up like Santa Claus, right? And it's mostly the millennials and you know people in their 20s, early 30s. And they dress up in sa- like Santa Claus and they just drink. They're just drinking. The whole point of it is to go out and drink during the day and make a whole day of this, just make it a big, long, drunken party. And they walk from one bar to another. And I remember I took a great picture and it was just this sea of red of all these people drinking. Well, if you pick one of those up, Nine times out of ten, they're going to be pretty hammered. So uh, just expect that. Uh, That's going to happen. And I think if you expect it, uh, then it's not a surprise to you. And you can uh, adjust, you know, your attitude and your expectations accordingly. And then the last thing I, I want to share with you is, you know, beware of emotional swings, uh, you know, for yourself. So... The holidays can be really emotional. Um, You know, we all have our history. We all have our, um, you know, things that have happened over the years. And a lot of times the holidays for many people aren't a great time, right? A lot of people, especially if you're single, I'm single. I don't have, I don't have a significant other in my life. Um, A lot of single people have a really hard time with it. Um, Or if you don't, you're not close to family, right? And you see all these people going to these uh, family gatherings or you see couples in the back of your car. Um, It can be a constant reminder to you that you're single or your family isn't around. Or if those things upset you, you know, they're likely to upset you when you see somebody who has what you don't have. So just, just be aware of it. Again, all you can do is kind of be aware of it and monitor it. And that way you're not so surprised by it, right? Um, yeah, I guess that's all there is to say about it. Just be aware of the emotional swings that can, be, that can happen because of the holidays. It can be a really dark period for some people. And you might get somebody in your car who's going through a really dark period. So in addition to your emotional swings, you're going to have people in your car who may be like really happy or really sad. 
or really dark and depressed or, you know, uh, really drunk. So just a lot of different things are going to show up in your car during the holidays. And I think if you're just going with your eyes open and you know that's coming at you, um, you can kind of be steady in the face of this kind of storm of emotions that happens during this this time of uh, this time of the year. So that's it. I wish you all a really merry Christmas. I hope you have a great holiday season yourself. Drive safely, drive slow, and uh, we'll all get through this. Before you know it, it's going to be 2020, and uh, you know it's a new year. You can all get back to the gym and start working out working off all the food you probably are going to eat, all the alcohol you're going to drink, and, and uh, we'll hit it hard, hard again next year. Thanks for joining me for this uh, short but impactful, I think, holiday edition of Rideshare Dojo. Fist bump to all the drivers out there, you men and women who are out there doing it every single day, making it happen for your passengers. I honor you, and uh, I'll see you next time. Y'all go out and have a great day and be safe out there. If you're thinking about starting an online business, definitely check out my website at nomadj.com where you can get my free ebook called What's Next? How to Do Online Work You Love from Anywhere in the World. That is nomadjay.com. I also do a daily one minute per day podcast called Nomad Daily in which I share different aspects of life. Uh, Nomad Daily with Jay Creator is available wherever you get your podcasts. People are really liking it. Check it out. You just uh, subscribe, and then every day you're just gonna it's gonna automatically load up, and you're gonna get the next episode. And you just listen for a minute to a minute and a half, and boom, you're done. And uh, it's great. I really enjoy doing that. All right, next episode, more news, interviews, all things rideshare dojo for drivers and all of us in the gig economy. I will do my best to bring you the best here in the dojo. This is Jay Crater saying thanks for entering the dojo every Monday and Thursday. Drive happy and be safe out there. Loved this episode of the Rideshare Dojo podcast? Head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. It really helps and it's very much appreciated. Be sure to visit RideshareDojo.com to join the conversation, access the show notes, and discover our fantastic bonus content. Thanks for listening, and be safe out there.